Hi, good morning. It's nice to be with you again. And today we're continuing on our series, The Beatitudes. Blessed are the meek is the topic for this morning. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 5, Jesus said, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. The Greeks used this word to describe a horse that has been broken, a powerful horse that has been broken. So meekness is not weakness. Jesus certainly was not weak. He was the God of heaven and earth. But he chose to humble himself and so that he can come to this earth and he can serve us and serve the world. So it's power under control. That's what meekness really means. So to be meek means to willingly and voluntarily surrender and humble ourselves before God and his will. And because we surrender and humble ourselves before the Lord Jesus Christ, we humble ourselves before others. Humbling ourselves to others is evidence that we are humble before God and God blesses a meek and humble heart, just like this verse says. How does he do this? Well, he allows us to inherit the earth. In Psalm 2.8, it reads, Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance and the ends of the earth your possession. And Jesus came to earth, he humbled himself. He was, he was meek in heart. So Father God used Jesus to change the world. And then Jesus used his disciples who humbled themselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he used them to change the world. God will use us if we would humble ourselves and surrender to him and have a meek heart just like he did he will use us to change this world to expand the kingdom of God that's our inheritance to be used by God to expand the kingdom of God to win the loss that is the inheritance that God wants to give us remember a meek life is a life that is surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ and such a life is very useful to the Lord God cannot use us if we're not humble and meek. But when we are humble and meek before the Lord, God will use us powerfully. So let's follow Jesus' example. In Philippians, it reads, Who being very nature a God, talking about Jesus, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage, Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So there it is. Jesus was meek. He was humble before the Lord. He humbled himself before the Lord. Remember, meekness is not weakness. And God exalted Jesus Christ. God will do the same with us. He will exalt us by using us to win the world, to change the world, to advance God's kingdom. We will be useful to God. And that is our inheritance. So God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And we'll see you again next week. God bless.